go into that first turn. Let's go. Inside the final Race mile. one. Revo 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 Let's go. By half a length to the inside mask of Anarchy. Racing in second. Two lengths away is Dancing Gypsy in third. A further length and a half to Unplugged in fourth. The grey is El Bello up against the inside rail. Just in fifth with two for the gutter on that one's outside in sixth position. Then very wide is Samim as they go into another turn. This time taken with three quarters of a mile ahead of them. Between horses is Dandy's Angel creeping up with the help of the inside Lenny Spirit stealing a place or two around that turn. The slow starting Billy Roberts still at the back of the field. There's a change to the lead now as Mask of Anarchy and Olive Nichols now just knows the lead to the outside Revo Raver and Amy Collier racing in second. The inside Dancing Gypsy and Becky Smith just third with Serena Brotherton unplugged on the outside in fourth position. Then there's a rake of a couple of lengths back to in fifth Lenny Spirit and Sophie Smith. Then Samim up on the outside of El Bello. Next then towards the inside is Dandy's Angel. Ridden along is two for the gutter and still the back marker is Billy Roberts. Now they climb the hill. Inside the final three furlongs they go with Mask of Anarchy hugging the inside rail. Around the outside Revo Raver now being ridden along. Moving into third and about to challenge is unplugged as Serena Brotherton bids to make it five wins in this race. They're now turning for home and unplugged is coming down the centre of the course. Way away from the others as they now fan out right across the track. To the inside Revo Raver is right there. Lenny Spirit is staying on. So too to the inside Dandy's Angel. Running all solo towards the near side is Unplugged. They've got another half furlong to go. It is Unplugged on the near side who has got the lead as they race up towards the line and Unplugged has given Serena Brotherton a fifth win in this race. In second place came Dandy's Angel and they were followed home by Lenny Spirit with late run Billy Roberts to the inside pride and another Trace. one who missed the kick was Sherdill as they go over five furlongs of the Napoleon's Casino Bradford handicap they're fanning out right across the course with on the wide outside so grateful who is right up there together with dream deal who is racing in the center then towards the inside is Glenn Down, who is right up there with Dunnington Ladd. J.R. Cavagin right up against the inside rail, having blown the start. Emerald's Pride has made a bit of ground, making ground around the outside of the likes of Blazing Hot, Ridden. Then the green colours of Mumcat is the next one to turn in, next second. And then towards the inside is Zerbinetta, who's trailing them. And they're racing now on towards the final furlong. And they're all congregating now towards the near side. So grateful as Bag the Rail, taken on now by Dream D. These are the first two. J.R. Cavagin isolates in the centre of the course, but inside the final 100 yards, it is so grateful who has got the lead, and it is so grateful who's going to hold on to win. So grateful over Dream Deal, staying on Mumcat, and then Glenn Down. Uh, alertly away was Twilight Romance, Barg towards the wide outside, and now showing speed in the centre of the course is We Never Stop. They're fanning out across the course as they race through the first of six furlongs and out quite wide, We Never Stop has just got the lead with Twilight Romance towards his inside. The Camden Colt is between those two. The newcomer, Miami Heat, is next with Barg towards the wide outside. So now they've all gone across towards the outer rail and it is We Never Stop and Shane Gray who have just got the lead over Twilight Romance and Jason Hart in a very close second as they now prepare for the turn. Outpaced at the back of the field is Miami Heat as now they begin to make the turn in just over a quarter of a mile to go in the spin drifter and now locking horns. We never stop together with Twilight Romance trying to cut the corner was the Camden Colt who tries to pick up. Barg has something to do from there. The back marker is Miami Heat. They race on towards the final furlong. We never stop has got the rail to help. Out wide is the Camden Colt. Between those two is Twilight Romance. It is still We Never Stop. A slender lead. Twilight Romance coming back at him as they race up towards the line. We Never Stop takes the spin drifter. Tight for second. Twilight Romance and the Camden Colt. They race over a mile and a half right. in the Wayne Conway Memorial Handicap. And through the early stages, the early pace is towards the centre with Artisan Dancer who goes on. Nata Carter is the grey filly on the outside and then Captain Potter is next, followed by the favourite Rogue Tornado, the red colours with the white triangle. And the one who's gone very wide there is Cantor Lupo Bella. Shane Gray has plotted a wide course to win two races already on the card.
he's going to take the scenic route right round the outside as they make their run now on towards the final mile. And indeed it is Cantalupo Bella running a solo, but now right up there with leading the main pack, Artisan Dancer as they go into the turn at the mile pole. Then Nata Carter, followed next by Captain Potter racing on the inside of Rogue Tornado. And last of the entire field, and at the back of the pack on the inside, is Cosmic View. In fact, they're now all just leaving that inside rail and all tacking across now to the centre of the course. This is a turn taken at halfway, six furlongs to go. Cantalupo Bella has now dropped a little off the pace. The lead is towards the inside with Artisan Dancer, followed by Nata Carter. And then in third now, as they all cross over to that far side rail, is Cantalupo Bella. And then in fourth and ridden along is Captain Potter, trying to improve now Rogue Tornado, and also at the back of the field, Cosmic View. So they race down the side of the course. Very shortly, they'll be going downhill into the dip, just going past the four furlong marker at this point. Cantalupo Bella now has a head in front over Artisan Dancer in second position. In third is Nata Carter, who's been ridden along against the outer rail. Sticking then towards the inner, Cosmic View comes alongside Rogue Tornado and struggling badly at the back of the field is Captain Potter. They're about to make the turn in uphill now with two and a half furlongs to go. Cosmic View tries to steal a length or two through on the middle of the track. Sticking further wide, however, is Rogue Tornado, who has now got the overall lead. They're in line for home, a furlong and a half to go. Rogue Tornado towards the near side. In the centre of the track, Cosmic View with a furlong to go. Those are now the first two. In third is Cantalupo Bella, and now they're racing towards the final half furlong, and it's Rogue Tornado who has just got the lead. Rogue, Rogue Tornado out in front, racing up to the line in the hands of Danny Tudope, and it is Rogue Tornado who wins in second Cosmic View, and in third Cantalupo Bella. Yeah, the favourites won for the Rogue Galleries, Tom Clover, Danny Tudup uh, on board. A short price favourite beats Cosmic and Reunited Memorial oh, right. Handicap through the very early stages, ridden along on the outside is Garden Oasis to be right up there. Also prominent towards the inside rail, Imperial Sands, and between those two, Lion's Dream, who's taking a very, very strong hold. Ottoman Prince is racing in a share of fourth with laser guided to the inside rail as they swing the turn with six furlongs ahead of them. Trope Power at the moment is racing with only a couple behind. Fancy Mac is towards the rear of the field and so too is Hotsadar as once again they've tacked under the tree line going to the outer rail and it is Imperial Sands and Connor Beasley who have now got the lead. Giving chase but still keen. Lion's Dream racing in second position. Then laser guided more towards the centre of the course. Up against the rail is Garden Oasis. Next in the field is Ottoman Prince. They're going now through the bottom of the dip with three and a half furlongs to go. Still towards the rear of the field are the likes of Hotsadar to Together with Trope Power, who's been held up on that one's outside, is Fancy Mac, and they're about now to make the turn with two and a half furlongs ahead of them. And Imperial Sands still has the lead. He goes on now by nearly two lengths to Laser Guided, who stayed on now into a clear second. Lion's Dream is now in third, and Garden Oasis in fourth. Then Fancy Mac, who tries to keep Trope Power in a pocket. They're racing now on towards the final furlong, and it's Laser Guided down the outside. On the rail is Imperial Sands, these are the first two and they've now kicked clear of Garden Oasis and Fancy Mac. They've got another 75 yards to go. Laser Guided now goes to the lead in the hands of a Sheen Orr. Laser Guided in front. Imperial Sands was second, close call for third between Fantasy Mac and on the near side, Garden Oasis. Yeah, Laser Guided is one for Simon Ed Chrisford Ocean uh, on board, wins from stall four, beats the pace set in Imperial Sands in second place for Archie Watson. To be right up there, it's a also prominent towards the inside rail, Imperial Sands, and between those two, Lions Dream, who's taking a very, very strong hold. Ottoman Prince is racing in a share of fourth with Laser Guided to the inside rail as they swing the turn with six furlongs ahead of them. Mm. Trope Power at the moment is racing mm. with only a couple behind. Mm. Fancy Mac is towards the rear of the field and so too is Hotsadar as once again they've tacked under the tree line going to the outer rail and it is Imperial Sands and Connor Beasley who have now got the lead giving chase but still keen Lion's Dream racing in second position then laser guided more towards the centre of the course up against the rail 
is Garden Oasis. Next in the field is Ottoman Prince. They're going now through the bottom of the dip with three and a half furlongs to go. Still towards the rear of the field are the likes of Hortzadar together with Trope Power, who's been held up. On that one's outside is Fancy Mac, and they're about now to make the turn with two and a half furlongs ahead of them. And Imperial Sands still has the lead. He goes on now by nearly two lengths to Laser Guided, who stayed on now into a clear second. <laughs> Lion's Dream is now in third and Garden Oasis in fourth. Then Fancy Mac, who tries to keep Trope Power in a pocket. They're racing now on towards the final furlong and it's laser guided down the outside. On the rail is Imperial Sands. These are the first two and they've now kicked clear of Garden Oasis and Fancy Mac. They've got another 75 yards to go. Laser guided now goes to the lead in the hands of a Sheen Orr. Laser guided in front. Imperial Sands was second. Post call for third between Fantasy Mac and on the near side.